Coach, with a tough loss like this, what do you hope you want to see your team learn from this overtime? Because it's the first mm -hmm. overtime loss for them. Yeah, you know, for us, it's just continuing to show our character. You know, just keep thinking about your teammates, keep working to to improve as a team, get better every day, continue to show those values and characteristics that make you winners. You know, when we're going through a tough patch. We got, you know, guys in and out of the lineup, and we're a new group, and, and we, knew, we knew this was going to be difficult, uh, especially the start of the season, but it's about showing our character and keep improving every day. There was growth out there today, and uh, we're close to winning, and we'll, we'll learn from it. When it comes to overtime, what changed and what kind of got Dallas those open looks from three? Uh, you know, Luca's obviously a, a tough customer. Um, you know, he made a couple uh, great passes on the money, out of little show and recover situations, and, and they knocked him down. So that's a team that's been in those situations a ton of times before, and they, and they you know, were able to execute it extremely well. So, um, you know, great challenge for our guys, great opportunity for us to see it down the stretch and to, to learn from it. Coach, two quick ones. Uh, you mentioned the growth that you saw. Uh, just what exactly did you see? Where did you see you guys grow tonight? I thought we sustained our intensity. I thought we played uh, a more complete game. So I think that's growth. You know, we've had some big pockets where we've had letdowns or gotten away from, uh, you know, our, our, our principles. But tonight I thought there was a much better overall effort. And, and second, I mean, did, did you see when the cup got thrown onto the floor and, and what happened there? Just and have you ever been part of a game um, where somebody threw something on the floor? Uh, yeah, I'm sure I have many times, but um, yeah, I didn't really see it. I just saw the ice all over the floor. Steve, you had some success, especially in the third quarter, with some of those non-shooter heavy lineups with uh, David, Ed, Ben, Nick, et cetera. Just what, what was working so well for that group tonight? I just thought the energy, the pace. They were able to scramble defensively and get out and run and put pressure on them in transition. Um, you know, I thought those guys came in and played some, some good basketball with heart and desire and, and gave us the juice that you want off the bench. And Kyrie seems to be your new rim protector with, with four blocks. I mean, just what would you see from him on the defensive end there? I, th I thought Kai's, you know, all year has been fighting. You know, he's really worked and tried to defend. And, and you know, even I think the first half yesterday in Milwaukee, you know, he had nine defensive rebounds. Things that we've been really pushing for is to, to rebound collectively. And, and uh, when he does other things like that, you know, it's, you know, you really are grateful for the performances. It's not always just about scoring. It's about finding ways to help your team. And, you know, he's, he's doing that in different ways. Hey, Coach, uh, it seemed like there was a, a premeditated rotation tweak maybe to separate Simmons and Claxton a little bit. It, w was that the case, and what went into that? Yeah, you know, I just think uh, we're trying to uh, look at different things, free, free those guys up to kind of be more... Um, Definitive and decisive in their roles. You know, when they're out there together, it, it, it's it's uh, there's a lot of moving parts for them to catch on the fly. Um, you know, I thought it gave Ben an opportunity to maybe be more aggressive in patches. Uh, you know, it's it was it's a challenge with guys out of the lineup to get there. That's that's probably been the reservation so far this year is just with guys in and out of the lineup. How can we get across the line without overplaying everyone? Um, in the end tonight, you know, you go to overtime, you overplay everyone anyway. So, uh, but yeah, that was, that was, we're trying to get a look at it. We got to develop both. We got to develop uh, both, but definitely uh, Ben at the five has, has got to be a part of our, our team going forward. Steve, you obviously knew how great Luca is. What is it about him that makes him such a tough cover, even when everybody knows he's getting the ball? Uh, you know, he makes others better. You know, he makes his teammates better. He makes plays for others, you know, 14 assists. Uh, not to mention all the times he probably gets the uh, hockey assists. So, you know, he puts an incredible amount of, of pressure. You know, they, they all they do is, you know, him over and over again and pick and roll, get a matchup and make a play. And that's, that's a, a lot of responsibility for him. And he handles it all, almost every night.